from the lands of the Anishinaabe to the Atawantaron, the Haudenosaunee and the Métis. The lands surrounding the Great Lakes are steeped with indigenous history. We acknowledge and thank the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation for being stewards of this territory. We acknowledge with respect the history, spirituality, and culture of the indigenous peoples with whom the Upper Canada Treaties were signed and the territory wherein our church resides and our responsibility as treaty members. We also honor the heritage and gifts of Métis people. May our actions be guided by our commitment to reconciliation. O God, let our mouth proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. You send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Glory to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Shout out, do not hold back. Lift up your voice like a trumpet. Announce to my people their rebellion, to the house of Jacob their sins. Yet day after day they seek me and delight to know my ways, as if they were a nation that practiced righteousness and did not forsake the ordinance of their God. They ask of me righteous judgments. They want God on their side. Why do we fast, but you do not see? Why humble ourselves, but you do not notice? Look, you serve your own interest on your fast day and oppress all your workers. You fast only to quarrel and to fight and to strike with a wicked fist. Such fasting as you do today will not make your voice heard on high. Is such the fast that I choose, a day to humble oneself? Is it to bow down the head like a bulrush and to lie in sackcloth and ashes? Will you call this a fast, a day acceptable to the Lord? Is not this the fast that I choose? To loose the bonds of injustice, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free and to break every yoke. Is it not to share your bread with the hungry and bring the homeless poor into your house? when you see the naked to cover them and not to hide yourself from your own kin. Then your light shall break forth like the dawn and your healing shall spring up quickly. Your vindicator shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry for help and he will say, here I am. If you remove the yoke from among you, the pointing of the finger, the speaking of evil, if you offer your food to the hungry and satisfy the needs of the afflicted, then your light shall rise in the darkness and your gloom be like the noonday. The Lord will guide you continually and satisfy your needs in parched places and make your bones strong. And you shall be like a watered garden, like a spring of water whose waters never fail. Your ancient ruins shall be rebuilt you shall raise up the foundations of many generations. You shall be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of streets, 
to live in. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge the Lord, who will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Happy are those who find wisdom, and those who get understanding. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. O God of our salvation, guard and direct your church in the way of unity, service, and praise. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Give to all nations an awareness of the unity of the human family. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Cleanse our hearts of prejudice and selfishness and inspire us to hunger and thirst for what is right. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Teach us to use your creation for your greater praise so that all may share the good things you provide. God, our strength, Hear our prayer. Strengthen all who give their energy or skill for the healing of those who are sick in body or in mind. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Set free all who are bound by fear 
and despair. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Grant a peaceful end and eternal rest to all who are dying, and your comfort to those who mourn. God, our strength, hear our prayer. Eternal God, you create us by your power and redeem us by your love. Guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, so that we may give ourselves today in love and service to one another and to you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray as our Savior taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial, and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Spirit kindle in us the fire of God's love. Amen.